Hello, Borough fans, and welcome to the Monday Social Club. We're here at the Longlands tonight. I have AJT with me and James. Uh, tonight we're going to be discussing, obviously, Saturday's game. Mm. Uh, the many talking highlights, points. many talking points, mainly Mo Bessage getting sent and off. And then the goal of the season. And then, Well, like you say, we'll, we'll talk about that later on. And then we'll have a little bit of discussion about the QPR game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, if we've got time, about the massive amount of games we're going to have over Christmas. So know, we'll yeah. take it away from there. Yeah, take it away. Uh, Saturday, James, Mo Bessage. Mo Bessage. How, how did you Was see the sending sent? off? Was it a sending off? Oh, you can clearly see he's pulling back on the shirt. Right, let's watch a video. Go on. Let me let James answer first. As he's saying it, all right, go yeah, on. You can clearly see him pulling back on the shirt. Now, as a, if it's one on one with a keeper, it's the last thing you're going to do. As any player, any player, you're not going to put, you're not going to pull him back his shirt. You, in my opinion, you should should have left him one on one with the keeper. Uh, let him just sit, sit, see what had happened from there. You don't go pulling on people's shirts because okay. left us down to ten men okay. for the rest of the game. Uh, could could have. Shot us in the foot, really, couldn't it? Like you say, there's been lots of discussion on social yeah. media. And I agree with James. Uh, where people are saying the referee never made the decision. The Blackburn players made the referee change his mind. Mm. I disagree with all that because I've seen the lines woman yeah, or line whatever she's, whatever they're called, the lines, line the referee's assistant, referee assistant, waving a flag yeah. to get the referee's no, attention. No, yeah, I saw that as well, yeah. So it wasn't the Blackburn players who got message sent off. It was the lineswoman who actually seen what had happened and she notified the referee. But she did notify him like late, it was a late call. Because when I looked at her first, she wasn't doing that. And then afterwards, after they got to the referee, she was stood there waving a flag about. Nah, so. I thought, like you say, it's, it's all ifs and buts and maybes, but... It weren't, he, it weren't he, a red card. He, he gave the referee a decision. It weren't a red card. Or the... Was it? But what's it, what they call oh. again? Wait, I keep forgetting what they're called. The officials. The official, yeah, the, the referee's uh, official, whatever he's called, linesman, <laughs> lineswoman. Well, let's watch it back then. Right, so, well, like, we're going to watch this back now, and here yeah. JST is trying to convince me, here, yeah. right, James, that he reckons Daddy Longlegs, Flinty, so is going to get to that ball before Dak. No, and he reckons I Shotton's Randolph, going to get Randolph to that. Randolph will get to the ball. Randolph before. isn't even in Randolph. the picture. Gets the ball in the end. Of course he does, because the ball runs no, no, to no, him. No, 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 no. Go on then, play the vid. <laughs> run VT. Let's run, run the VT. <laughs> so as you can see here, look, more better now. If we pause it there, oh, yeah, no, there's right. Stack making the challenge. Right. So you've got oh, your big man in and Flint here, and you've got your big man Ryan shot in here. So Bessage, trying to be messy, who's lost the ball facing his own goal, yeah. keeping hold of it too long again, right? He loses the ball there now, doesn't he? Yeah. So what other but a player, right, stop it there. What other brother player is going to get that He's ball? He's on the run. Well, 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 what's he going to, what other brother player is going to get to that ball now before Bradley Dack? Randolph. No way. Is he in the picture? He's not even in the picture. Right. What that. AJC says to me, that ball rolls on and Randolph picks it up. But when Randolph picks it up, he's been pulled back and he's stopped at that time to complain to the referee. That's why the ball got to Randolph best. What do you score? Who knows? Well, there you go. So why did, regard, why did he pull him back? What do you mean? Because he lost the ball. So, but he's... he's Put us down to ten men, and to make matters worse, the fourth official put it down to ten men. To make he put us down to ten men. No, no, no. The fourth official made a decision. He got sent off. Right. To make things right. worse. Yes. The score direct from the free kick. Right there. Yes. Look, that's a bit of a better angle. Now he's. Right. But so wait, hang on then. So where's Randall? Where's Flint? Flint's not going to get the Flint wins. is centimeters from him. Oh yeah, J man. It's he like is. when you look at the map, mate, and I say, "Where's London?" and you say, "It's only that far away." <laughs> he hey. is miles away from that ball. Just a bit more. Uh, and as we can see, where's Randolph now? Still he's nowhere near the ball. Who's close? Like, right, who's, clo who's closer to that ball, James? Randolph or Dak? Dak. Dak's, Dak's. Look at. He's on the edge of the box. He's Hang on. Who's Aiden right? Aiden yeah, what are them? Who's, who's <laughs> the closest to the ball right. there? Tell look. me who's the closest to the ball. Out of all them players in that picture, who's the closest to the ball? Shotten. Shot. Oh, how Shotten closer to the ball when he's over there and Dax directly behind I'm not being wrong in this situation. You are like them people on this social media who think he didn't deserve there to be There we go, and now he's closer to the no. ball. Because he's stopped, look, he's turned he's round, turned he's not round, even yeah. looking at the goal yeah. or the ball. He has turned round he's and he's not even it. looking at it. He's there doing the yoke-y-cokey, that other black bear. Oh, hang on, now he's got the ball. 
Yeah, because the ball's just ran to him. He's realised, to... his hands are in the air, I've missed my opportunity of scoring, I didn't get there fast enough. Right. Randolph his hands, the ball. His hands are in the air long before Randolph picks it up, mate. That's not my problem. My problem is... No, point, I you've, just said, you've just said the Randolph's ball, picked the ball already. up, so he's put his hands in the air. He had his hands in the air no, long know, before know, Randolph picked it, it up. We would not appeal it if it was a, if obviously say if it was a clear red card. We're appealing it because he can't afford to lose him for three games. I know, but it's it, it weren't a red card yesterday. It's it clear as day. He's pulling back on his shirt. It what a, a, what a one with the keeper. He's pulling. He's back not on one his on shirt. one though. He is. He's got Randolph, who's a one on one. Right? Is he going to score the one on one? Is he going to score it? There's a chance. No, he's not. We all there's know no way. You saying that? It, there's no way Shotton or Flint, right, Flint are going there. to get back across. No, but are they? When he's in the box and you've got Shotton and you've got Flint closing in on you and then Randolph... He wasn't the way closing in on him. Listen to what I'm saying, let me finish. If you've got Flint and Shotton and then you've got Bradley Dack and you've got Dan Randolph running at you... But you haven't. Right, again, let me you finish. You haven't. When he pulls in... When he pulls in back... When he pulls in back... When he pulls in back... Flint's over there. Stop pointing your Shotton's fingers. over there. I will start over. So when you've got Flint... and when Randolph's you've got Randolph, in the bar. I will start again. a game of snow but yeah. a f- for the third time, when you've got Flint and when you've got Shot in there, yeah. and you've got Bradley Dacker's there, and then you've got Randolph, when they're all closing in on you and you're the one player in the box for them. But they weren't closing in on him. They were nowhere near him. Start again for the fourth time because I'm interested in the they? They So when you've got near. Aiden Flint and Lion Shot in there, yeah. and you've got Bradley Dacker's running through the middle, and yeah. then you've got. Because Message has messed up big I Start time. again for the fifth time because, again, you're not letting me finish off this. Because Message. Message. Who message? message? Him, him as well. Who, yeah, Message. He thinks he's Message. Message and Message. Right, right, so, so he messed when you've up. Got, when you've got Flint, and when you like, be quiet. Yeah, go got, on. Right, sixth time. When you've got Flint, and when you've got Sean, and then you've got Bradley Dackers, and then you've got Dan Randolph. Yeah. When you've got them two closing on you, and you're in the box, and you've got Dan Randolph running at you, you're telling me he's going to score that goal. Tell what? me he's going to score that goal. He's got more chance than what uh, no, I'm sorry, mate, he's not scoring that goal. How would you know? Dan Randolph's underrated in the It's league. not some longer where he misses all the one on ones. Hey, listen, he's got a goal of the season on Saturday. How many Can't m- say a bad word against him now. Still missed a one on one, mate. And, and Ugal did. Not my problem. So, if that was Ugal or a Sombra Longer mm. with Flint and Shotton either side of him, yeah. I'd have said there's a one in five chance he might score because he oh, never man. scores one on ones. But because it was him, Bradley Dacker scored one on ones. Oh, yeah, he's class, isn't he? Well, didn't he have a shot, from the, didn't he have a shot from inside the box on Saturday and he hit the post? Yeah, but was yeah. it a one on one? Well, it may did he have about four butter players in May front as well of him? have been. No, it wasn't. May as well have been. He was unlucky, I thought. He, he bent, it, bent it round. Yeah, it was unlucky. At the end of the day, at the end of the day. At the end of the day. We have right. every single right to appeal it. You, for me. You can appeal it, but I don't think it's For me, it's when I watched it back, I thought it's a bit harsh of a red card. It's a yellow. It's a red. Now, it's a red. The, bit, the game that. How was it a yellow? How could he give a yellow? What was the yellow for? Being for? Just to be nice. No, just not it was a red then. That was a We've red. We've got important games coming up here. So that was <laughs> at least trying to agree with me. Yeah, at you know least he's yeah, the luckiest you know person what? in this, like you say, out of us three. Yeah. And everyone at the club, he's got Christmas off now. Well. He's off till after Boxing Day. New Year's. He can sh- sh- there, man. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, no, so no, no. Rips is work. Is it switches before Derby? Yeah, he'll be back for the 29th of December. Mm-hmm. Oh well, have a nice yeah, Christmas, right. Mum. So Merry Christmas to you. It's like the thing Emerson used to do, or Ravenelli, <laughs> you know what I mean? Get suspended for Christmas. So Me do. So go back on it. What do you think is a red card or not? All right, you know what it is. If I have to be wrong, then yeah, okay. You would say yeah, okay, oh, yeah. But I feel it's harsh. Although we go back to maybe the, the game that I went back to earlier on when I started to be about it was the Lansbury one. Remember that? And yeah, uh, was that in the league? Yeah, that got rescinded. That was yeah, but that was exactly the same sort of situation. No, it wasn't. Wasn't it? it was halfway up the pitch. Are you mental? He was outside <laughs> the box, guess No, it wasn't. The Lans- please, the Lansbury please. sent off against Aston Villa. He was halfway up the pitch. No, he wasn't. And he had no, the wasn't. entire. No, he wasn't. He had the entire. No, he wasn't. Back he ran was. past the halfway line. Uh, uh, he was in. Our, he was in. He was in the final third. Have to Google that. And Google he was through on. Yeah. Google it. He was through on goal, and he pulled them back, right. Lansbury, right. and then he got shown the door. At the end of the day, they had two defenders at the same position and the goalkeeper, and yet it was a red card. Right. Simple as. I know what I've seen. <laughs> I was the next year. I know what I've seen. Go on, and this is where I. Right, how, how, like you say, how do you feel here, eh, James, how we performed with 10 men? Se- well, the second half is when I said a meeting view, it didn't feel like we had 10 men on the pitch at the time. Didn't the it se- felt, the it felt like we had 11. The second half, it was. Like it was just a complete game, yeah, game changer. Uh, but the first half, it was affecting us. You could, you could see how much mm. it, it it was affecting the match. Yeah. Uh, Middlesbrough started getting a bit scrappy after the red card in the first half as well. Uh, you could tell that we were 
only down to ten men. Mm. Uh, we're, we're struggling, like we said. Blackburn is a tough game. Uh, but when we, we're a better set, we're a better size. We definitely don't just do share because we're getting red cards like that. Like what? What's what's and, what's, and, and what's, 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 what surprised me was uh, when he took Fletcher off. And brought uh, like you say, I was gutted when yeah. Fletcher went off. Well, he was gutted and shot him with shaking his head, wasn't he? And so he went back to one up front. He, he left Eugle up front on his own. Uh, that was for what twenty minutes of the first half. Yeah. Then yeah. come the start of the second half, mm. he brought Asamba Longer on and Savile on and went two up front again. Yeah. So where where does that actually leave Fletcher? Fletcher's future He's on this yeah. club. It's Has he got a future or not at the club? Do you know what I mean? He's given him like. I still think he deserves a chance again. He, d- oh, he definitely deserves a chance. You can't. Yeah. Oh. Does he put him in on Saturday instead of Hugill? And try yeah. Fletcher and Samba Longer up top? Because you've got to do two up front now because it worked on Saturday. Yeah, which worked on Saturday. So, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? It showed that Samba Longer could only score a type of goal when he was teed off by Jordan right, Hugill. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, a, it's a, like I said in the past. If the ball's passed back to us, Samba Longer, he's lethal. Yeah. He, he likes to run onto the ball. It's it's no good giving him one on ones or running through, because he's not that type of striker. He likes the ball played back to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like which we've discussed before, when Christie was in the side, and Fabio, they mm-hmm. were getting the byline, pulling the ball back to Samba Longa yeah, while he can run on it, and he, he was scoring goals. He was getting that's when he was defending. You know what I mean? There you go. So that. that was that outside the box? It's final third. <laughs> it was just, it's in the was final third. It's the halfway line and it's in the final third. Yeah. And does he have two Is defenders ahead of him? Does he have two defenders ahead of him? No, he has four. No, he doesn't. Watch. Two. Watch this, James. Look, 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 one, two. Look, all he's done... The halfway right. line and there's a the final. <laughs> final third. Final third. <laughs> yeah, Is he over the halfway line? Is he over the halfway line? People while you're watching this, he's in the circle in the halfway line. No, he's in the circle. He is. He didn't even go through it once with the ball. AJ, you're right. He runs this side of the circle. Right. There's the circle. He runs this side of the circle. If there's runs anyone, into the final third. if there's anyone watching this from Specsavers, can you please come and let, you know, lend he your goes into the final anyway, third. He goes for, into the final third. He that. goes in to the final third. Right. He's chopped down by Lansbury. He gets a red card for Cindy, but you can't tell me it's any right. different to more messages. Uh, it's massively different. No, Listen, it's not. No, it's uh, not. No, it's not. You are wrong. Like you say, Samba Longa came on. Yeah. Now, why is it when Brit has had a spell out the team, mm. he comes back in? And he puts a display on and puts the effort in like he did on Saturday for the second half. Does Why can't we get that every week out does of he him, know? Age, yeah? Has he seen the... Well, of course, he's seen the rumours that Celtic are linked to him and all this stuff. Has he seen that and thought, hang on a minute, I actually don't want to leave this because we actually want to try and perform. And he, that's why he's come on and showed yeah. a little bit, maybe. What do you think, James? Do you think he's doing it for his own benefit to get a decent move? Or I he think does what AJ is just said there is probably could, could be right. He's, he is, could be happy at the club and he is wanting to be farm. Like, and, and shows what he is made of, but then he sort of just backtracks on himself once he has. Like, mm. he's proved his point a little bit to us. Like, Middlesbrough, the Borough fans are happy with him. He'll backtrack on himself and then he'll go he'll go back to being a lazy player, not getting stuck in and back to all these old tricks. And then he'll get taken he'll get taken off. Pulis will give him a chance again and he'll put on this magic performance like he did on Saturday. Now, as fans and as, as Pulis would want to say, he should be putting in that every single match. Not just when he's picking and choosing. If he's got, if he's got it in him, he can do it. And like we need the performance of every single player now, just to be putting in that performance. We we changed the game around on Saturday, but like I say, the first half was a bit poor performance. But the second, so as soon as Brick come on and Savile come on, it was just a completely different game. We were watching a completely different game, and it's just shown like simple little changes like that is making a big change to it, like how how we are performing. So yeah. people just need to sit back and have. I think and think these little changes he is making, what 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 it is what he is doing, and why that game's changing for for that game, because we can't afford to be losing games, especially like no, not at home, man. Not at home. We can't afford to be losing these games. It's at a crucial crucial stage now, uh, where we do want to be seeing them home wins. We want to be seeing the away wins. I think the squad is coming to a crucial stage as well. We're, we're all coming to January now, and mm. people are on about signings, but. Over the last few weeks, watching the Borough every week as we do, AJ, yeah. I've seen the likes of Downing, Clayton and Friend. See, yeah. Pulis wants to get us up into the promised land. He wants to get us into the Premier League. But them three, like you know I'm Stewie Downing's no, biggest fan. Well, we're both, but we're yeah. both of us have argued many um, weeks over I it. Think, I think now it's time. He was, you know, it's you, sad, used, to, used to sum it off the bench. 
Yeah. The only signing, if we make one in January, George has to be replaced now. He's, See, he's still giving his. I'm before not, he got injured, I like. He's still I did giving like his all. Queen. And Adam Clayton, mm. Adam Clayton, George Seville showed mm. us on Saturday, Borough fans, how that type of midfield role should be played. Yeah. When he came on, he was all over the backs of him. He wasn't giving him yeah. a chance to turn round. He was getting the ball and he was trying to pass the ball forward. The first yeah. thought was trying to get it forward. Where when I watch Clayton now, yeah, he's won Man of the Match award a couple of weeks ago, but it depends who's giving him that is award. It, is it someone who's played in? He just seems to be running about in this little circle. We aren't now. seeing the same there doesn't, butter. there doesn't seem to be no driving him no, where he wants no. to get the we ball the and drive forward. I think them three players legs. now, they, you know, they, they have to be elected. The They've been great servants, yeah, but yeah. it's my opinion. I think they need to be. The best game we've seen Clayton out play. The past years, Neil. Was Bristol City away when he was unbelievable against Bristol City? Yeah, and we yeah. came out and everyone was saying, Who's this Adam Clayton? That's just playing. But I agree, I think George Friend, he's got away with it for a few seasons. He is, as much as he, as much as a fan favourite and as much as I get slated for saying it, you've got to move on. Yeah, if we're building mm. the team to and try and get yeah, in the Premier League, you've got to be serious about it. The, these players now have had their time. You know what I mean? Club. He came for cheap and he's, to be fair, he's been a class servant, yeah, George been, Friend. Yeah. And it doesn't mean he's ever going to play again because he was on the bench. But I, I think when he comes back in the squad, Sam McQueen should be giving the goal because he's, mm. he's young, he's got the pace, he can get up and down the wing. Or even look at Marvin Johnson. Who he, he got a look where, where is he you know, these days? I know he's at Sheffield United now on loan. Yeah. But yeah. before he went, he was a decent player on the wing. He, he, he didn't had do a, a bad job. Yeah. He, he was well, the Queen's gone back to Southampton. He's crocked, didn't he? Well, yeah, yeah, he's injured. But yeah. she gave Marvin Johnson back from Sheffield United. Yeah, he doesn't even get a look in there. He was, qu- he was quality. Mm. He, was, yeah. he had his time where he was quality. How do you feel about Pulis's quote the other day where George Savile's a future captain of the Borough? Maybe mm. to see something in him. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, you got to put. I think that's in. pricked a few wheels up. That you know what I mean. Well, after he's setting that, maybe he's, that's what he needed. Maybe he need that little bit of what, of Com- what he said to kick him on a little bit to, yeah, maybe, yeah. to almost make him believe that he's a part of the team. Going back on the size and all that, if we played wing and tab on the wings, yeah, maybe that might do something. If we if we start playing four four two now, mm-hmm. and you had the likes of George Friend who sat on the bench, and you had the likes of Marvin Johnson, and obviously come the new season, or even another left back for the time being at left back. Someone like Galloway from Everton or someone, you know, yeah. just you know, just someone young that doesn't really get his game, and then you had wing and tab on either wing, and you were getting on some long up front. That might do things. That might that See, might we, change. We it. have old Kenny, Kenny, who likes the bag on, and, and he, uh, Kenny Grange. He, he reckons we should be starting with Brit and Braithwaite up front with wing and tab. Yeah. Which which really at the end of the day is is a really good shout. Yeah. yeah. It is. And it is, yeah, yeah. when them four were playing together in pr- early the season, it was absolutely. It was exciting. Oh, yeah, it was exciting. Was exciting. Football, yeah. game, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But uh, like you say, Danny Bat getting left out on Saturday. Did that surprise you? Yeah, massively. I think he's been solid, hasn't he? Last couple yeah. of weeks. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been in. Mm. I Arlo's always going to get put in because Pulis loves him. Do you, you think? I mean? Do you think Danny Bat took the brunt of Pulis's wrath? You know what I mean? His madness or whatever. He was upset about the Villa result. Do you think it's Danny Battle has been the fall guy for it? He can't take the all the blame, can he? No. And drop him and say he's the whole fuckers. Look at Flint. Flint didn't get dropped and etc. But it's a shame. It's a shame he got dropped. But now again, you know what I mean? Maybe it's actually going to make him play even play out of his skin in training yeah. to try and get back in the team. So, in a way, it's clever what Pulis does. Because if he's dropping you and you think, what the hell am I getting dropped for? You clearly, in your head, it's like mind games, you need to go and I do think something to prove yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't fault Pulis that because he, he tried everything to yeah. get us back mm. into that game. Tactically, and like you say, the way he bellows at them players, he tried everything to get us back into that game. And I can't fault him. Nah. I dare say if there was another manager stood on that sideline, we, we might have lost 2 or 3 nil yeah. after yeah, going yeah, down yeah. to 10 men. But he, he dragged us up and he made that change at half time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Going two yeah. up top. So fair play to him. Oh, yeah. And then the right on Sunday, you're on social media again and you, you see a post where people are trying to raise 840 quid yeah. for a Pulis Out banner. What's, <laughs> where, where do you stand on that? And people, people, and, and people who are watching, yeah. like you say, there's people actually out there now who trying, to, trying to get money mm. together for, I don't know which game, but they're trying to raise £840 for, the for, a, game. for a Pulis Out banner. Yeah, for the do we game. as Borough fans really want that at our stadium? <laughs> and, it's you know unreal, I mean? isn't it? It's unreal. You it's know. When I seen it, I was I was just like gobsmacked by it. Like, I mean, the guys here, he's trying to do things. And yeah, okay, there was fans. I didn't want him for the start of the season, but crying out loud, we're still in. The he's always going to be the same. Be. He's going to be like my mate, isn't he? So yeah. like, you're going to love him, or you're going to hate him, aren't you? The it's people just, are, are going to hate him. They're going to hate him no matter what performance he puts in. And the people who 
love him. They'll say his bad days and they'll say also his good days. Yeah. So I, like as a fan, I think the fans who d- dislike him, they're gonna rate him anyway, no matter yeah, what performance yeah, yeah. he does. As a, as a as a as a poor fan, right? You you walk out of that Riverside Stadium like last week against Villa, and you think every one of them's a bag of shite. Mm. And you yeah. can't, they're, they're your worst enemy. Yeah, hate you hate can't stand one of them. If you know, if there was one of them on fire, you wouldn't even. You wouldn't yeah. stop. Do you know what I mean? But the following sat there, the heroes again. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know what I mean? The heroes and, and you love them. And as soon as that whistle goes, and you go one down to Blackburn, they don't put a. Yeah, no, it's true. But that, it's that's true. us as Borough fans, yeah. you know what I mean? I think, I think too many people are and, too quick to judge the manager. And people are jumping him. on Pulis. Yeah. Like you say, he's not my cup of tea, but he's our manager. And you, you want him to do well. Yeah, it's I it's like not the him. best football, but... But look what he's done at other clubs. Look what, look, look, you know what I mean? Like, I know he's tortured them fans, oh, mate. Yeah, no, but he's tortured but look what he's done to them. I don't know. Would you like Stoke ten, City, would you 10 like, years in the Premier League. Would you like 10 years of Stoke City at the Riverside? If it's going to keep us in the Premier League and keep us solidified in the league, I then I'll like say, you, you need to be careful what you wish for because when we had a decent run in the Premier League, when we were up there for, what, 10 seasons, 11 yeah. seasons, yeah. Uh, fans started whinging because we were finishing 11th and 12th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you know, and you think, just embrace it. Yeah. Embrace just the embrace moment. being yeah. the best yeah. league. You, know? you, you, you are playing yeah. the best league in the world and yeah. you finishing 11th. It's hard to watch that bad. Ronaldo running down the wing for Man United no, or Snodgrass it. for freaking Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know what I'd rather be no, watching. Do you know what yeah. I mean, though? It's one of them where I think too many people are too quick to blame Pulis. Yeah. I get I get we're sixth and I get even, even for me, I know it isn't great right now, but it is what it is. I mean, I mean if we can... If we can go now and beat the likes of QPR, and this is doable, QPR already, and then you go and beat Sheffield Wednesday and it's which home, which for me, they're all going to be, you need to take 12 points there. Yeah, yeah. How much are you going to be with them 12 points if everyone else starts Like you say, we, we play a derby New Year's Day. Yeah. We've got two winnable away games, then we've got two home games. Yeah. Then we're away at a derby. How will you two as Borough fans feel if Adama Traore sat back on the bench with the rumours that's kicking about now of us going in for him to get him back on loan? Happy yeah. days, happy Would days for me. I'd be absolute buzzing, yeah. I'd be buzzing. See, I, I think it's someone we need right now. To be fair, it's a type of player we do need. Yeah, it's a type of player we do need. He is everyone we get attached to. Or he's, he's unlike them. No, he, yeah. he, no, he's most probably scored three hundred goals with a ball and never missed a minute. No, I'm not like him. Oh, Stewani, I love him. I love Stewani. But you, did, you couldn't stand him the other week. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want him. You said you wouldn't listen, want him back. But what it is, listen. Obviously, discussing, discussing, try all day now. Borough fans for you one week. It's, I like this player next week. I'm just stupid, mind you. But listen, try all day. Maybe tell lies for the Christmas will come. Go buy me one bloody present. Try all day. Right, try all day. Is a great player, and he was great when he was here. Towards him on his way out to Wolves, people were getting a bit sick of him for what I could hear in the concourse and whatnot because it was all about him. Everybody wanted to pass the ball to him, and we were getting mm. found out when we were not by teams. Yeah, teams yeah. working us out. If he comes back to Butter, which will, don't go wrong, this is going to be fantastic to have him on that wing well, again. And we're still one dimensional, even, even without Triori. Yeah, but listen, we're still yeah, one but dimensional. Teams going to fight, if he's, if he's going to go right, Triori is back. All we're going to do is pass the ball to him again. Yeah, but goes on the right hand side. That's then it. now you've got Yugal and a son belongs up yeah, front. Yeah, but maybe it's a difference because we all it know does. what happened when he was there. He get the ball and unless it was creative throughout Triori, nothing was happening. I thought, right, towards when Pulis came last year, last Christmas, uh, he got a grip of Triori. His crossing into the box improved massively. Yeah. Quality. He started scoring goals. Mm-hmm. He, beca- he became a more rounded player. Obviously, he wasn't the finished article. But mm. he's he, he confident. He's confident. He, he seemed to perform. Right out, yeah. He performed 120 percent for Tony Pulis. Well, he mm. did. And yeah, Pulis said did. in the close season that he wasn't going to stand in no one's way. Like Gibson went to Burnley. He wasn't going to stand in his way going to a Premier League club. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't stand in Bamford's way going to Leeds. I'll perform one for them. And uh, obviously, Triore went to Wolves. I could ne- never understand why he went to Wolves. But obviously, it's not working out for the kid. So obviously no, it looks like Borough. If he wants to come back, and if he wants to come back, and we all know that he's going to perform exactly like I perform. If we, if he's going to come back and just do exactly what he did before, then fantastic. But that's the one thing I sort of fear: is he going to come back and is it going to be all pass it to him and get the ball over to him and twerk it through him? Because I hope it is. I thought it was exciting as me. I know, but teams are figuring us out at the same time. And the teams, teams are still got to catch him though. I know, but look at teams are figuring out how to frustrate him as well off the ball, and that's when he's quick to be silly, silly, silly cards here and there. If he comes back, 
great, but then you also got the likes of Wing and Tab that can also create on a different side. And then what you can do then, if you can get that partnership going of them two on the wing, putting the boards in for the likes of Braithwaite, Hugo, and San or whatever, then it's going to be special. But if you're going to bring him back and you're just going to keep putting the ball over to that right hand side to try all eight, it's just going to Imagine more... having try all and down and on the bench. There's options to yeah, come but, yeah, but, no, but, uh, yeah, but imagine him starting with Tavo Wing. That's what I'm saying, saying, and then you've got Traore and him back. on the bench. Listen, I take him back, but I fear. I just fear that we're going to be sat there again going, right, listen, it's, 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 I mean, predictable, but it's back. The ball goes Traore, it gets snapped again. It's, and do you know what I mean? Because yeah, we've yeah. seen it before. If they get to a point where it was like that, and I get what yeah. you're saying, teams were figuring us out. Like, obviously, the managers off the other teams had told what Well, that's the job, isn't it, at the end of the day? It's, it's, it's up to the it other teams opposing managers to work out our weaknesses to play against us but it and it, it's up to them as players and our manager to you know to get round all this that's, that's why they have tactics and yeah. coaches anyway on about tactics and coaches yeah. Mogger back at the Riverside yeah, how did you feel great reception for Mogger yeah he was welcome back wasn't he he was no boo I didn't know no. No, 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 no boo he was welcome back he, uh, yeah. yeah legend didn't he and obviously yeah. he came on and said he's still a Borough fan yeah. where he gets a chance to come towards the Borough he does yeah um, we've seen him a few times yeah, going in yeah, yeah man like, same as a legend isn't he and yeah you know, everyone around the club loves Mogger, so it's great. Mm. I think everywhere he's been, he, he's you know the fans have been his biggest yeah, fans. You know, his commentary, he was loved there. But now, like you say, Blackburn, the way their fans are talking about him as their Messiah. Yeah. And yeah. apparently, he's he gets on with them Venkies. It was, you know, yeah. where they've brought other managers in, and the you know the fans have been upset with the owners. Where it just looks like Mowbray's like told them what's what, <laughs> a proper football man. And they're getting on with them, so yeah. hopefully, like you say, every success for Blackburn next season after we've gone well, up. Mm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice to see him walk back in the dugout, yeah, even though it was the opposing uh, dugout. Right, QPR Saturday. Yeah. Agent McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> they got off to a poor start of the season. Yeah. It looked like McLaren's job it's was a yeah, goner, didn't yeah, it? And then he's, yeah. he's went on this run and got a few no, wins together. Again, weren't I know that Naki Wells was a really dangerous player. You know what I mean? Naki Wells. Naki what? Naki Wells. Oh, right. I thought you were saying Naki Wells. I was here. No, man, Naki Wells there. Naki Do you not know who that is? No. Whoa. Wellsy. Don't, please tell me you know who that is. No, go on. We're going to be discussing their striker. Right, go on. Luke Freeman. Oh, yeah. But you don't know who Naki Wells is. I've never knocked out here, do you? <laughs> Naki Wells, who was one of their best players. Right. Other, you know what I mean? Obviously, came from Huddersfield. Him and Jordan Wall. Him and Jordan Wall set the world alight in League One. And then obviously he's been other places and now he's at QPR. He scored against Leeds at the weekend, but his goal was superb. He picked up on the right hand side, went past three players from the bottom corner. He's, he is a very, 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 very good player. Right. All them fellas there because he's, he's an excellent player. I thought it was in Father Ted. Then. And <laughs> if you allow that guy in the ball for too long, trust me when I say it to you now, he's going to hurt you. He, 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 he's one of the best. Well, when it, on his day, when he's on form, he's one of the best strikers in this league. Yeah. And when he was at Uddersfield, I cried for Butter to get him, but Butter never did. He's absolutely unbelievable. Now, if you don't know me, he's guest go on your phone. I'll watch, I'll watch him on Saturday. Well, listen, many times I've said players are brilliant and they've come to Butter and have done nothing like the Rochdale players, etc. And you've said, Rochdale hey, players, <laughs> they all work in Aldi's and that, and then they go play football. No, but Saturday when ball. I told you before about them players and everything else, you've gone, all right, let's watch them, AJ. And come outside and gone, AJ, they've got mid and score one passes today. There's yeah. been many players that have said it about, not just saying, but like I say, Keep you a decent team. The only way you'll players. know about these players because you sit FIFA in it all night and day, mate. <laughs> I don't isn't think it? Yeah. You do, isn't it? That's why yeah. you get to know. And because he's got a seven in FIFA, he plays for QPI, he's going to talk to you the butter <laughs> on <outside. laughs> You know what I mean? No, I've watched these anyway, players. Anyway, yeah, it's a tight little ground here, Jay. Yeah, lost the Last season we went there and we, we absolutely battered him. I've we been were, there once. George Friend scored a screamer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Triori, Triori got his first scored goal. his best goal for the butter. Yeah. So, happy memories from there. Yeah, well, like I say, yeah. it wasn't for me, I wasn't there. The last time and I went to QPR was... Our, it's our away form. Yeah. That's keeping us, you know, up and, up and, up up and yeah. around the top six, yeah. isn't it? Away so from home, we're much more excited than what we are at home. Mm. Yeah. And it's a bit weird, isn't it? But that's what gives you... I think that's what gives everyone that little bit of buzz about going away, is that we know we're going to see a bit of a better form than what we have done at home. And it's like I say, you know, if you, you know, away from home, if you can go there and get draws and win all your home games, you're going to be there or thereabouts at yeah. the end of the season. So I think Pulis knows that in the back of his head. The home form is not good enough, AJ. Like it's say, not, it's one, not. one win in seven, that's going to get you nothing. That's relegation yeah. form at home, isn't it? So we, we do need, and that's what's getting on the backs of a lot of the home supporters because 
they're not getting the enjoyment of what the away supporters are getting. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah, they're a lot true, more yeah. exciting and it's a lot more better away yeah, from home. You know what I mean? That's true. But I think Saturday, I think he's winnable for us. I really do. I'd, you know, QPR, uh, I couldn't tell where they're in the league because I've not really researched them yet, but they can't be that high up in the table, surely. They, they, were, they, were nick, they were kicking in and around the top six a few weeks back Yeah. when they went on that run. I think they went on five or six game run and they just shot up the league. Mm. But they, no, obviously, no I think they've had a couple of defeats. Oh, in way, but... So you know, they always give us a good game normally, apart from last season, we dicked them 3-0, but who's to say Buddha can't go there and do the same thing again? Uh, well, I fancy us t- to do that, AJ, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do, I, I, feel like, I feel like that one's a winnable game, and the week after that, Redden away, I'm sorry, but they're in a poor form. They're there for the taking as well. Four games well, here that are possibly four wins, in my opinion. The Redden game's a typical Buddha banana skin for me, but like you say, we've got to go there to Redden, you know... Looking for three points. Yeah. Everyone, These two away yeah, games, yeah. you know what I mean? And then they switch it home. I mean, they say on the bottom of the table and they might be, you know, whatever, but there's four games there for me where I suppose can take 12 points out of them if we want to take them. They're there for the, I mean, yeah, but let's not get too far. No, know, we've, we've got I a know, cup quarter final in between all that lot as well. So. Yeah, there is, but that's going to be the kids that are going to play in that one. But, but it's like, you know what I mean? It's a, he's got to go out there and, and want to win that game now. 100%. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Massive like you say, there's a coming. massive semi-final at the end of that for either Listen, ourselves or Burton. The teams that are left in there, are there you know what I mean, all Premier League, aren't they? Yeah. And I think, listen, I mean, Chelsea's in there. So, I mean, exciting. But, of course, like I said, we can't look past. We've got to look at Burton and take them take them seriously, haven't we? Definitely. It's got, it's got, like you say, everyone who's come to the Riverside this season give us a decent game, James. Yeah, yeah they have, haven't they? We haven't yeah. wiped the floor with anyone. No. Apart from Sheffield United. That was only a 10 20 minute spell, and then <laughs> <True. laughs> we parked the but bus. But like I say, I just hope with that Burton game, I hope it does get packed out of the Riverside because it's a quarter final. Yeah, 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 it's a quarter You'd hope that there's more than 12,000 there like there was for Palace. You'd hope that there's, you know, we a sell out at least because you know, you know what I mean? For the semi finals, it's going to be sold out, you know, that for, you know that for now. But you pr- hope and pray that hopefully for that obviously game against Burton is sold out. Like, like you said, I would, people keep telling me we're what. I think we're sixth in the league sixth now. now yeah, sixth yeah. Now, but we've yeah. gone from second to sixth in the last couple of weeks and people are telling me we're second in the league. We're still in the playoff positions. We're in the quarterfinals of the cup. Yeah. Everything's going well. Why why don't you stop mourning? Why is there twelve thousand empty seats at the riverside? Because the Buddha fans must look the best at this. Uh, there's twelve thousand <laughs> <laughs> There's twelve thousand empty seats at that stadium. If, yeah. if that was under any other manager or any other period in Borough's history, yeah. there'd be at least 27, 28, 29,000 there for every home game. Yeah. So there's some are keeping them away. It's away just pureness, people and it can't be all down to cost and yeah. all that. Because yeah, yeah. years ago, people had no money, but they always found a way to get the Borough. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's entertainment value, isn't it? That's what people want. People yeah. want to be entertained. If they're taking the family, to, you know, it's £100, and it, let's say, for food and everything else, and for, obviously, you know what I mean, family tickets and all that. 100 quid. If you're taking your family there, you've seen a game on Saturday. Oh, you seen the game previous at Aston Villa, uh, and that's two hundred quid. Down, and you're thinking, hey, I'm not going to come again. That's yeah. why because they're not getting it. Well, the kids want to go again. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, you've got to go there. Don't take me there again, Dad. Yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And but if, <laughs> say if them kids are going in the month of August when you're blowing Sheffield United away three 0 yeah. you're yeah. thinking hundred pound well spent. I'm going to go back yeah. the following week. Yeah. Then all of a sudden it starts declining because things have got to start changing. Right, AJ is on about entertaining. I hope we've entertained you tonight. Don't forget to like, share. And subscribe over on Facebook. Drop a like, drop a comment on YouTube as well. James Hutchinson, you've been missed tonight. I hope everything's going all right. Hopefully we're back next week with James Hutchinson in this chair. It's been emotional. Thanks very much for watching. Up the borough. Up the borough.